Hello, my wonderful Pisceans. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. Alrighty, for my Pisceans in separation, let's see. Okay, guys, so we have um, sexual desire as the first card, and I did start recording your reading, but... Um, uh, you know, I got distracted, so I decided to start again, and we got that card the first time as well. So this person's definitely craving your affection. Um, we have the heat between us is intense, okay? Yeah, it sure is with that card coming out twice for you guys. And then we have, I can't do this right now, okay? So a lot of passion in this connection off the bat, Pisces. I do feel like this is someone who is missing you. I do feel like this is someone who may even feel like there's a bit of tension in the air. Okay, um, and then it says, I can't do this right now. So there could be a tad bit of an avoidant energy. Look at the bottom of the deck, guys. I can't come to you now. So there could be like, you know, this energy of this person feeling very connected to you, but they're like avoiding this situation because they either feel like they can't communicate with you right now, or is it the fact that they shouldn't be communicating with you right now? Hmm. Let's see, guys. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck here. Split the deck, and we have the Hermit. This person is definitely questioning, um, you know, your interest here. I do see that with the Four of Cups. They may feel like you don't really care about the situation as much as they do, or the fact that you're isolated or more self-focused could be, you know, raising some sort of assumptions. Um, this could be a Virgo that you guys are involved with. Let's see. The Five of Cups, yeah. This person misses you. I think that there is definitely an energy of longing here, Pisces. Um, Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles, the Two of Swords. Okay, so here's what's going on. This person is, first of all, it's like they're craving your affection. They're craving your attention. They want to be in your company. And with the Ten of Wands, I feel like they're taking an ending in a very heavy um, manner they like something feels very heavy to them at this time with that ten of wands energy they may even feel like the route that they chose to go in was the more difficult route with the nine of pentacles and the two of swords they could have been in between worlds in the past about whether they wanted to focus on their self or whether they wanted to be in a connection with you and with the nine of pentacles even if they chose to focus on their self and it created an ending they feel torn about a decision that they've made or something still feels unclear to them Hmm, let's see. Definitely a lot of dwelling in the past going on with that Five of Cups being the first card. Yeah, Page of Swords, definitely spying on you, um, inquiring about you, that sort of thing. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands, Queen of Swords, Nine of Cups. So Pisces, this person feels like not only have you set very clear boundaries this time around you're very you've made it very clear that you're going to focus on yourself i don't think that this it doesn't even have to be something that you verbalize this could be something that they're picking up on based off of your actions like for some of you this person may have thought that you guys would have made up by now or you guys would have uh spoke to each other by now but because you have not there's an energy of okay you know pisces means business with that queen of swords Nine of Cups, you know, this person feels like you're more focused on your emotional fulfillment. Um, you know, you could be going out more, just kind of trying to not um, be consumed by the situation, if you will. And with the Ace of Wands, a lot of, a lot of desire, a lot of passion, but maybe you feel like the passion and desire wasn't enough to, you know, uh, have you stay. Maybe you feel like, yes, the passion and desire was great, but I wanted more. Okay. Yeah, Eight of Swords. This person's very stuck on you, I will say that. And there's a there's like an energy of them thinking about what they could have done differently. 
But in a in an odd way, like with the Eight of Swords and the Page of Swords here, Pisces, like I feel like, okay, they're stuck on you mentally. And then it says, I can't do this right now. Bottom of the deck in the message deck, it said, I can't come to you right now. We have the Page of Swords. You know, if they feel stuck on you, they're also spying on you. Is this someone who feels like there's something forbidden about this connection? Or are they hiding something from you? Like if they're in a situation that they're unhappy with, they may feel like they shouldn't be, you know, crushing on you or thinking about you, but they can't help their self because you're definitely weighing very heavily on their mind. You know, the heat, the heat between us is intense. Like this could be a connection that started off, you know, very fiery, you know, very passionate. And, and there is a connection between the both of you that this person cannot deny, but it's like they're trying to do the right thing, but the right thing doesn't feel right because they're still feeling connected to you. Or if they're choosing to do the right thing, their question is, why am I still thinking about Pisces? You know, why why can't I get Pisces off my mind here? Hmm, okay. Yeah, lovers, they can't deny the connection that you guys have, but they fail to make a choice. The High Priestess, the King of Cups. Okay, let's see. The Six of Swords, okay. Bottom of the deck here, the Ace of Swords. It's like they want to make peace with you, make peace with the situation. I do see that. Ace of Swords, Three of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. For some of you, this could be a third-party situation, but if it's not, there's an energy of this person like wanting to make peace with you, wanting to make peace with the situation, but this is what's going on in their mind. There may even be something in particular that they're telling their self where it's like creating a wedge between the both of you. So it could be like negative um, thoughts that are impacting them at this time or them feeling like, okay, I want to make peace with Pisces, but I don't know how to go about it. Or I feel like, you know, Pisces is at the point of no return. Okay, what is the Five of Cups? Five of Wands. It seems like in this connection, this person feels like there's competition or, or conflict, like some sort of difficulty that's in the way. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, King of Swords. Like, you know what I'm getting here, Pisces? It's someone who feels like, okay, um, I tried to do the right thing. So I made a decision to, you know, end a connection with Pisces or I made a decision to just focus on myself. But why am I still connected to Pisces? Why do I keep thinking about the what ifs and buts? And you know what I mean? Because if it's almost like they feel if they made a firm decision, they wouldn't be thinking about their decision so much or they wouldn't have a regret, but they do. And with the five of wands clarifying the uh, five of cups here, this could be like external factors. This could be the opinion of others whether it's family or friends. But this could also be like competition where this person feels like there was constantly other people in the way or they felt very passionate about you and they could feel that the connection between the both of you was intense, but they may feel like you had other suitors, they had other suitors and, the, and you guys did not have each other's undivided attention. That could also be a scenario as well. And I will say, Pisces, like I'm being drawn to the uh, chameleons here and it's almost like maybe for some of you, you felt like you were constantly adapting to what this person wanted or what this person desired, but you feel like they weren't doing that in return, like for you. Like maybe you feel like there were so many phases when it came to this bond and you had to kind of like adapt or like be okay with the changes that were happening or sympathize with this person when need be, but you feel they weren't really doing the same for you. So in return, it could have made you feel very, you know, misunderstood. Okay, what is the Page of Swords? The Lovers. Some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. So what I'm getting here is a person who did not make a decision is still focused on you. So even if they didn't make a decision, they feel like that was a decision within itself. Because what I'm getting here, guys, from the cards is they're still thinking about choosing a more difficult route. So whether that was choosing to be on their own or choosing to maybe go with what would please society or please someone else, they're now looking at the situation like I didn't put myself first and that's why I'm unhappy. Now with the lovers, um, yes, it speaks about a choice, but it's a life altering choice. So for some of you, this person had to either relocate, leave someone else behind or let go of a lifestyle in order to pursue a connection with you. And they may 
you know, have felt like that was such a drastic change that they weren't capable of, but now they're thinking about, well, what would have occurred if I made that change? So like the difficulty of making the change is definitely not outweighing, you know, their desire for you. They're starting to think like, well, you know, I didn't make that change and I thought it would make me feel better or, or you know, trying to release Pisces from my life would feel better, but they, they don't feel better. They're still thinking about you. They still feel connected to you. This decision still affecting them or the decision that they did not make, right? Like, like you can read it both ways, but it's that's what's affecting them. It's like feeling like something, okay, being with Pisces requires me to leave, you know, said thing behind. And they were like, that's too difficult to do. But now they feel like it's so difficult not speaking to you. So it's pretty much like, did I make the right decision? Um, what is the Eight of Swords? Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck with the Hierophant. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, Three of Wands, Seven of Cups, yeah. You feel like what caused a disconnect was the confusion. You know, the back and forth. This could be read as mind games or someone having multiple choices in love. Then we have the Nine of Wands. Um, some of you could have this person blocked, quite literally, right? What is the Eight of Swords? Knight of Wands, yeah. The inconsistency you feel like really affected you. Queen of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Hanged Man. There may be a bit of a mirroring energy because on your end with your energy, you also feel like something felt one-sided or something felt very heavy. Like, uh, you know, whether you feel like in order to fix something with this person would be very difficult or in order to like regain trust, it would be difficult. Like you feel like cutting ties with this person and moving forward feels a bit easier in this moment. And with the Knight of Wands clarifying the Eight of Swords, this person is stuck when it comes to their actions of the past. This person's thinking about the inconsistency here. Like for some of you, very specific, but this person could be kind of thinking, you know, you know, me being a player, was that worth it? Or keeping my choices open in love, was that worth losing Pisces, you know, over that? Like there's a lot of questioning going on. And I will say, guys, like for some of you with the Knight of Wands, you know, that could be someone who's, you know, on their feet. They like to travel, very spontaneous, you know, not really the most consistent energy, but something about you stand, stands out to them. Where it's like, it may have required them to, you know, completely leave an old lifestyle behind in order to pursue you, which at the time they may have felt that it was difficult. But right now it's not like they feel like things are any less difficult. You understand what I'm saying, Pisces? And like for many of you, I believe this person did not expect to fall, fall for you, you know, as deep as they did. Because Knight of Wands could quite literally be, you know, a player like energy or it's someone who's not really um, like they could be non-committal. Like it's someone who's more focused on in the moment, having fun, living in the present, not really thinking long term, not really thinking about stability. That's the energy there. So for some of you, you know, even just falling for you could have been very unexpected where this person felt like their emotions were, were overwhelming them. What is the Six of Swords? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, that's pretty much what I was saying, not to sound too repetitive, observing what they could have done differently, right? Did I make the right decision? Did I leave behind a connection with a lot of potential? Seven of Swords on the bottom of the deck, and behind that we have the King of Pentacles and Two of Cups. Four of Wands. Yeah, there's a connection between the both of you that they cannot deny. But I will say, guys, with the Seven of Swords and Four of Wands, it's either they were hiding another commitment from you or they were just failing to give you a commitment by just, you know, wanting attention from multiple sources or being dishonest with you, maybe justifying why they weren't able to make a decision. But with the Seven of Swords, this could be someone who is, um, you know, maybe doing something wrong and trying to get away with it. So what I see here is a lack of trust. Or you just feeling like it would be very difficult for this individual to regain your trust? What is the five of wands? Okay. The fool. Okay. And we also have the page of wands. Some of you feel like, um, you know, what affected this connection is the, is this person's childlike tendencies. We have the Knight of Wands, the Page of Wands, and we have the Fool card. That could be a very, like, it could be childlike tendencies or it's just someone who's very impulsive. 
Like they will do something temporarily, but they won't think about the long-term repercussions of what they're doing or saying. And for many of you, you may feel like that was in the way of this connection. Now with the Page of Wands and the Fool, like this person may be reaching out to you very unexpectedly. Page of Wands could be read as you being on the receiving end of some sort of communication. And the Fool card, you know, that's someone taking the leap of faith towards you without really knowing what the future holds. Which, obviously, if you're looking for this person to break the silence, that's something you would be fine with. But if you're looking for this person to make a change, Page of Wands and Knight of Wands is not the most consistent energy. So it depends how you look at it. It's all perspective, right? So it's like, if you want to speak to this person, you want them to break the silence, then again, maybe that would be a positive outcome. But if you don't want to hear from this person, unless they're going to be consistent, then maybe you wouldn't be looking forward to them breaking the silence, is what I see. Um, what's the lover's? It's like you feel something is very impulsive about this person and you do feel, um, you know, this connection with them. But it's like you feel like you're all you were already deeply invested where now when you're trying to heal, you're having a hard time, you know, investing in this entirely again because you're not sure if the outcome is going to be the same as last time. That's what I see here. Like there's almost a fear of feeling broken again or or feeling disappointed in this situation. What is the lover's? And I think what makes it difficult is like you guys are very drawn to each other. Like there could be a lot of physical attraction, even the emotions. Like you guys could have the same sense of humor where it's like, wow, this like I feel so connected to this person, so attracted to them. It feels so exciting. But where is the stability? King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Or like I don't want to just be excited and, and feel like I'm in a fun connection when I'm putting my heart on the line. Because if this doesn't result to a commitment, I'm going to be hurt, right? So that's what I see here. Um, what's a lover's? The sun. Yeah. Their lack of choice is being illuminated at this time. And with the sun and six of cups on the bottom of the deck, you make this person extremely happy. I just feel like it's someone who's failing to make a decision as of right now. Like with the lovers upright, they're in between worlds, which means they haven't decided yes or no yet. They're still thinking about it. And with the sun and the six of cups, yes, you make this person extremely happy. They feel very connected to you. They may have even told you things like, uh, you know, like I think we shared past lives together or you, you noticed that when you first spoke to this person, you guys hit it off. Like there was nothing was awkward about it. Everything kind of just flowed. And I think that's what's making this person think differently about you and this connection. But even thinking about a connection or a commitment seems to be different for this person because they're in the Knight of Wands energy which means this is someone who, you know, is kind of in an inconsistent energy. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you're the first person they fell for or the first person they consider to be in a commitment with, which for you, it's like, okay, yeah, you know, I feel connected to you as well, but are you capable of actually being in a commitment or are you just going to be in and out with me? Because you're looking out for yourself right now, Pisces. That's what I see. What is the Knight of Wands? Some of you could be dealing with the Leo with the Sun card. Two of Swords or a Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands. Two of Swords clarifying the Knight of Wands. Yeah, that's what's affecting the connection, the inability to make a decision or being in between worlds. Maybe some of you feel like even when things feel like they're about to change, you guys end up at square one. Some of you could be, you know, cord cutting at this time. You know, we do have sexual desire. Maybe you feel like even the, um, you know, intimacy on all levels is great between the both of you. And maybe you're feeling extremely connected, but you're wanting more. And something about this connection doesn't bring you a peace of mind because the next card is the Six of Swords, which means that's what you're trying to attain right now. You're trying to move to calmer waters. You're trying not to feel so stressed out. And with the Two of Swords as well as the Lovers, maybe what makes you feel uneasy about this connection is the fact that this person's indecisive or they're very inconsistent. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Judgment bottom of the deck here are the three of pentacles the seven of wands the six of wands and the moon yeah this person definitely misses your attention that's what i see here um your affection your nurturing side six of swords uh seven of pentacles of the judgment okay um some of you could be dealing with the scorpio but this is someone who is making right in their mind they are like like they're they've came to a realization okay they they've woke up to something but now it's about making that change 
What I see here, if I'm being completely honest with you, Pisces, is in order for this person to pursue a connection with you, they have to leave behind an old lifestyle. Whether that's a lifestyle of having multiple partners, multiple choices, or just someone who is non-committal, someone um, you know who feels like they you know kind of leave connections before people leave them, or it's it's you know an issue that's deeply rooted in them. Whether it's someone who has to work through their insecurities, it requires a major change. Because with the lovers here, guys, like this is someone like like this is a choice that is going to be life altering it's not going to be a choice that you can make and change overnight so that's what i see your person is focused on um i do feel like they feel extremely connected to you and you're making them think differently about love in general i feel like you are the first person that has made them kind of go within and say okay i actually want a connection because guys they made a decision here and they're rethinking the decision but this, with the Knight of Wands energy, this may be someone who's very used to being in and out of people's lives. But with you, there's something different is what I'm getting at. Okay. So my wonderful Pisces, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.